My bad, I'm back again. As soon as you get on the live, just drop some flames in the comments. Let's get this fire back going. My bad, they blowing me up before I'm growing me up. You dig? Some, just drop flames in the comments. My bad, my bad, y'all. Drop flames in the comments. Let's get it back right. A sweet baby Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I made it in America. Just drop flames in the comments. Let's go. Just drop flames in the comments. Let's get it back. I'm going to teach y'all something that y'all never heard. I already know. I'm going to teach y'all something that you never heard. Y'all remember that? Uh, what show? What movie was that? We're going to bring it like you never heard. <laughs> All right. So, Pete, this is what we're going to do. Let's keep it real, real short and sweet. As soon as you get on this live, share this video with 10 people and drop some flames in the comments. Let's go. If you don't know how to share the video with 10 people, just tap tap the little paper plane in the corner. And we're going to get straight to it like it's not to it. You know I made it in America. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Share this video with 10 people and drop the flames. I need to see fire. The whole... The whole screen should be full of fire. Let's go. Was just watching your podcast. That's what's up. Shout out to Jamaican CEO. What's up? Maxim up S. Okay, I see you. King Lamar, what's happening? Rez Jr. 23, what's happening? Angel MCK, what's happening? Chris Algalier, let's have Let's go. Billion Dollar Shaq, what's happening? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. Share this video with 10 people and drop flame. Let's do it. Let me help the people who can't hear out, and we're going to have... It written down for you. Share this video. Share this video with 10 people. And drop flames. Drop fire. Yes, sir. Yeah, so what? Look, I know y'all think it's... I know some of y'all be tired of people getting mad when y'all share it with 10 people. Guess what? Guess what? Don't care. I don't care. They need to learn this information. So if they get mad at you for sharing this information that's valuable with them, then oh well, let them just unfollow you. Keep sharing it with 10 people. Keep sharing the word. Keep changing the conversation up when you go to the crib. Keep changing, changing the vibes. So let's do it. So look, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you how to really get saucy. I can't teach you how to get saucy if y'all don't share the video with 10 people. I'm not, I don't feel comfortable. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't feel comfortable sharing this game with y'all for free for y'all not to share this video with 10 people and drop flames. I don't feel comfortable and I won't do it. But trust me, if I don't say what I'm about to say, some of y'all never level up because y'all need this jewel. Some of y'all got called on this. Y'all don't even know the reason why y'all got on this live. And y'all don't know the reason y'all got on this live was simply for y'all to learn this jewel. Right? And I want y'all to know the jewel. I want y'all to know the game. One of my former friends cussed me out for keep saying it. Yeah, let them cuss you out. Let them cuss you out. Let them unfollow you. So what? Let them unfollow you. So what? Share this joint with 10 people. Share that shit with 20 people. Put people in a room so that could change the conversation. Let's go. So now, like I said, I don't feel comfortable sharing the information unless y'all do this. Like, All right, so peep this. This is a reality, and I want y'all to know this. A lot of y'all don't understand that what you can do for yourself, you can do for others. Right? What you can do for yourself, you can do for others. So meaning, I'm going to go back to explain the whole story because some of y'all wasn't on here. So peep this. What I learned at first was that if I fix my own credit, which I did, I got myself to like a 750 credit score at one point. Clearly now I got an 830 credit score. So I have a very high credit score. If you don't believe me, we go just start right here. That's just, that's just so, so that everybody, some people don't know who I am. So I'm just going to show y'all what it is, right? So we're going to log right on in. We're going to log right on in and show you the credit score. All right, cool. Just so we real clear and everybody know that I'm speaking from experience. I don't want y'all to think about this as fluff. I want y'all to know, you know, we're speaking from experience. I'm logging into Experian right now. And I'm about to just show y'all the scores. 
and then you can just go from there. You can take, you can make your judgments based off of whatever you want to make it. All right. Boom. 828 credit score. My credit score, 828. All right. Did y'all see that? 828. Y'all see the debt though? 1 million one. 1. 1.1 million. Okay, cool. So now what I learned was after I fixed my own credit, after I fixed my own credit, and I started being able to do so many different things, right? I started being able to get credit cards. I started being able to finance um, vehicles. I started being able to get apartments and homes, lease homes, apartments, everything. So what I found out very quickly was that, you know, that I have a whole lot of power with just having my credit in position. With me just signing my signature, I was able to have a place to stay. I was able to get furniture. I was able to get equipment. I was able to get all different type of items and things, first class flights, hotels. I was able to do so many different things. So what I found out was that what I could do for myself, I can also do for other people. So what I did was after fixing my credit, I went and got my little brother. And I, I pulled my little brother. Me and my brother are very close in age. we 10 months apart. I said, you know what? Little bro, I'm about to fix your credit up. I'm about to help you get the lines of credit that I got. I'm going to help you get the, the ability to get the assets like I got. And then we're going to double up. Right? And then I said, all right, cool. I went and got my other little brother, Slim. I said, you know what? We're going to get our credit cards. I'm going to get you this, I'm gonna get your credit up. I'm going to help you get credit cards. I'm going to help you get in position to be able to level up and have assets like I do. Now, what does that give me the power to do? It gives me the power to get access amounts of funding. Now, let me explain exactly how. So look, I want you to understand this. What if I told you, if you get in position with revolving credit, you get in position with revolving credit to where you are able to walk into a bank and you are guaranteed to get approved for a line of credit. All you do is start an LLC. Look, what if I told you, this is what I, this is what I do. I start an LLC. I got my company, my corporation. Let's just say Mitch Enterprises is the name of the company. I put myself as a person who is a, a, a officer of the business, right? A member of the business. Then I put my little brother. He's a member of the business, right? I got my, I got myself, my little brother, and my other little brother. They're all members of the business. Check this out. I went into the bank. And I applied for a lot of credit. Let's say I went to Chase first. I went to Chase. Guess what Chase gave me? Because I got my personal credit in position. I went there with an LLC. I started a business bank account. And I said, hey, let me get a lot of credit for this business. They gave me a Chase Inc. card. So I applied for the Chase Inc. card. I got the credit card because my personal credit was in position. Why? Because they're going to use my personal credit to PG the credit card. I'm going to say it again. I'm, they're going to use my personal credit to PG, which is personally guarantor the credit card. So when I went in there, my, my credit was already high. So now let's say I had a 760. Right now, y'all know I got an 828. So I got an 830 credit score right now. So at that time, I only had a 760. So I went up in there with a 760 and I applied for a credit card. They gave me about $25,000 line of credit. All right. They gave me a $25,000 line of credit. Chase Inc. business, right? So what I seen was that that line of credit reports to my business credit profile, not my personal. I'm going to say it again. What I found out was that credit card shows up on my business credit profile, not my personal. So you know what I said? I said, you know what? That's dope. $25,000 is cool. That's a cool line of credit. But I think I still need a little bit more to be able to do what I'm trying to do. So guess where I went to? I went over to BB&T at the time. Now BB&T is called Truist because SunTrust and BB&T, they all merged. So it made to Truist. So I went up into Truist and then I got another credit card for a business for the same LLC, Mitchell Enterprises. I went and got a line of credit, right? And this time, Truist, they gave me $30,000. So I had the 25 plus the 30. And then guess what I did after that? I said, you know what? This is cool. 20 and 35 is awesome for this business. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think I still need a little bit more funding. So what did I do? I took my ass to Bank of America. And I said, Bank of America, same time. I said, let me get a lot of credit. 
too for this for the same LLC. Now, I did this same process over five times. So five times, I end up with a little bit over $200,000 in credit, right? I went, I went with a little bit over 200K in credit, five times, five different banks, right? Now, after doing this, I understood something else. I said, damn, what have happened? Because my brother, he didn't have to PG it. Why, why didn't they run my brother's credit? Why didn't they run my brother's credit? Because of the percentage of the business that they owned. I own 90% of the business. My, bro my two younger brothers both own 5%. So they don't need any of their documentation to run to get the uh, actual line of credit. So only thing they ran was my credit. So now I'm the only one got a hard inquiry on my credit report. I got, I did them, I shot, look, so when I apply for these businesses, I'm telling the story in a way where you can kind of imagine it yourself doing it, but really what you do is you pull all five tabs from each bank, you got all five banks, you fill out all five applications, and you do it all in the same time so they won't see you inquiring about credit. So I literally got five credit cards at the drop of a hat, right, for my business that are all going to report under my LLC and not to my personal credit profile. So I shotgunned it right at the same exact time in the same few milliseconds, right? In the same few milliseconds, I sat there and said, one, two, three, four, five credit cards, same day, same LLC. My brother's credit was not pulled. Listen to me real quick. My brother's credit was not pulled. My brother's credit was not pulled. My younger brother, his credit was not pulled either. So the next thing I see, I say, now we got a little bit over 200,000 in credit. I remember what I told you on the story. I fixed my little brother's credit too. So my brother is now, right? My brother is now on the same wave as me with his personal credit. We built his profile out. He got the right amount of accounts. He got the right amount of history. He got the right amount of payment history. He got everything, right? So now you got to understand my little brother is now in position as well. So guess what? I got 200,000. I think maybe my little brother can get 200,000 too because he's in, in position. So guess what we did? We went to five different banks. Now, I, when, when y'all listening to this, I don't want y'all to emulate this. I'm just letting y'all know what I did. I don't want y'all to emulate this. And the reason why I don't want you to emulate it is because you may not be in position with the blueprint. You may not be in position with the business savvy, with the responsibility. You may not be in position with the mindset in order to all go invest this money for cash flow and assets. We in no way went to get any of this business funding to use it for outside of business. We are using this to leverage our companies to build income and buy cash flowing assets, responsibly pay them back off. So with that being said, I went to five banks, my own Bank of America, Truist, Chase, you know, Navy Fed, whatever, right? My brother went to five separate banks. And for that same exact LLC, though, the same exact LLC, we can go get a whole nother LLC, but we use the same exact LLC. So the five they we, we go to, we pull up five tabs again for five different banks. We pull up Discover, right? We pull up all of the different banks that we're going to use, American Express. We pull up uh, uh, Capital One. We pull up all of the other uh, the banks that we're going to use, and then we apply for five more credit cards under my brother's name. He does the application. He now, he puts that he owns 90% of the company. I own five. My other brother owns five. So we ran the same process back over. Clearly he got approved. Now we got 400,000 in funding. Right? Now we got 400,000 in funding. So now we got almost a half a million dollars in funding. We got the business savvy, you know, you got push man Mitch business savvy because I've been running my business for over three, four years now, making a lot of uh, income waves. I've been running the rental car place, Airbnbs, in the credit repair business successfully. So now we got funding in order to be able to invest in our company to get inventory, advertisement, pay employees, uniforms. We are able to pay for whatever we need to get more cars, all of these different things. We literally were able to do that at the same time and the same day, right? Same time, same day, 10 credit cards, one business, literally was able to 
excuse me, was able to get it done in one day and then be able to back our business completely. Now, a lot of people will think that they can hurry up and do this, correct? Right? A lot of people feel like they can hurry up and do this, correct? But no, they can't because it takes you a few years to build a credit profile that will let you be able to go out and do this. So a lot of you guys will not go ahead and get the training, learn how to do it and be able to move in the correct ways. But I'll tell you this. This is what Pushman Mitch did. And then we also were able to do it with, again with my younger brother. So our goal, and I posted a post about this yesterday. Andrew Tate talked about it. He talked about, you know, families in the, uh, America, a lot of times, what they will do is you have a family full of people. Let's say it's nine brothers in the house. All nine brothers are going to go get nine different houses. They're going to get nine different wives. You get nine different jobs. They're going to play nine separate rents, nine separate utilities, all of these different things. Now, if you have the mentality of all for one and one for all, all nine brothers could live in one big house, have one rent, bring all of their wives into the household. Um, they take care of the household, keep it clean, whatever, what have you. And all nine men go out and work. They go ahead and buy all cash flowing assets, houses, uh, multifamilies, apartment buildings, gas station, things of that nature. And then when they finally go off and branch off to living by themselves, they are all very well off, bunch of assets, uh, cash flow that's coming in out the yin yang, and they all are able to go out and live their own lives. So the thing that is reversed in America is we don't do that. We tend to not do things that way. So basically me and my brothers move in that fashion. So a lot of you guys may be following me for a long time and you can see that my brother is always with me every step of the way. My brother is always, he, any car that I have is his car. Any house that I have is his house. Any apartment that I have is his apartment and so on and so forth. I don't care if it's the clothes. I don't care about that. We're all for one, one for all. So we went into, right? We went into business understanding that we are going to leverage each other's resources in order to get to one common goal, which is to get a multi-million dollar portfolio. And that's what we did. Yes, yeah, somebody said, except women. Exactly. Don't get off task. Except women. Clearly, we don't share women. Uh, but what I want you guys to understand is that you guys are more than capable of doing this. Even if you can't do it with your family, you can do it with people who you have formed a family-like bond with. Y'all can all commit to the same goal. Y'all can all commit to the same uh, the mindset, and then you can make these things work. It does take people understanding their position. It does take people being able to understand who's the CEO, Who's the CFO? Who's the supervisor? Who's the manager? Who's the, the, the person who does the manual labor? Who's the purple who do, person who does the accounting? Things of that nature. But you definitely have the capabilities to do this. And when I create my black club uh, mentorships and masterminds, I do it with the purpose to connect you with like-minded individuals. Now, am I telling you to do it with them? No. But if you do form a connection with people that you're close enough to be able to do this, you will be able to understand that we are stronger together than apart. And you will literally be able to move in a fashion that you never could imagine in your life. So... Like I said, I learned this early on also, not because Andrew Tate, but he just gave a great example, but because I used to live in Smyrna. When I lived in Smyrna, I lived in this apartment building where there were nine or 10 Indian. I lived in a two bedroom. It was upstairs and downstairs. It was a two bedroom apartment, right? In Smyrna. There's upstairs and downstairs. It was me and two other guys living in there. One of us, this dude named uh, Ski, he slept on the couch. My other dude, Sheen, he slept downstairs. We both had the bedrooms upstairs. So we had the two bedrooms upstairs and Ski slept on the couch, but we all paid rent. Long story short, when I stayed in Smyrna, our next door neighbors, it was nine Indian guys. These guys, they worked at, it's a, it's a, a doctor's, I mean, it's a hospital right across the street. It's called Wellstar. If anybody knows about Wendy Hill, on Wendy Hill, there's an apartment building that's right across the street from a hospital called Wellstar. I live right there, right there next door, my next door neighbors. It was nine Indian guys. They were all doctors. All nine of them lived in the same house every morning. They got up and they left from that house and they went over and worked their shifts and then they came back home. It was nine of them. They all stayed in the same apartment that I was staying in. My apartment, the, at that time when I was living there, the apartment rent was $750 a month. The apartment rent at that time, 
This was like in 2011, 2012. So at that time, they were paying $750 a month. It's nine of them in there, all of them doctors. They all was bringing home just to pay them utilities. And they literally were bringing an income over $200,000 a year. And they all stacked up their money while sharing it for just a short period of time. And then they left from their households and they went and, and married and got and did what they had to do when they were well, well off. Can you imagine doing that for maybe two, three years, four years? What would it look like if really you and your friends really committed to do that for three or four years? Just three or four years, you're going to get through it because you guys go through college. Y'all live in dorms. Y'all pay the man a high tuition. You learn a trade. You get a piece of paper. You leave. You go start working. And come on now. And come on now. Y'all go do four years in college, sometimes more. Y'all don't make any money. Y'all literally pay for a dorm. Y'all literally pay for the rest of y'all life for y'all tuition that y'all had to pay. And y'all go out and work a job and y'all go struggle to literally have a family on your own. And you just literally be in debt for your whole life. But none of you guys really want to see the certain things that you have to do to sacrifice to be able to build up your portfolios. This is what this is what coaching looks like, guys. What you just got a taste of, what you just heard in that little short period of time is what we talk about on the Black Club on a weekly, monthly basis. We have these masterminds. There are people like me who are multimillionaires, billionaires who come in the same room with you guys, sit there and give you different strategies and actual blueprints on how you can level up to the next level. And you don't never go. Y'all know that? And you never go. I never seen you in the room. You never go. It's twenty five hundred dollars and you never go. People like like literally when you talk about what people learn in these things, you learn how to get 850 credit scores. You learn how to make twenty five hundred dollars a day. You learn how to be able to buy real estate for under twenty five hundred dollars. You learn how to trap the Airbnb and make that type of cash flowing uh, asset, be able to maximize the profits. You learn how to get in the rental car game. You learn how to get in the, the event space game. You learn the digital products and automation game. And a lot of y'all, we already seen yesterday. Just think about just yesterday. Yesterday I got on this live and we talked about automation and digital products and the myth behind people who are coaching like myself and mentors like myself that we don't make money in our businesses on real life and we only make money with digital products. And I asked anybody on the live, do they already have digital products? A lot of people said, me, 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 me. I said, okay, if it's so easy to make millions of dollars with your digital products, everybody that's on the live that already got digital products, show me the millions. Show me the millions. And if, the, if it's the case that it's easy to make millions of dollars online with digital products, where are your millions at? Why don't all of y'all got courses and eBooks and things of that nature? And how come they're not touching millions of dollars? Because that means that there must be something missing. That means that you're literally, the myth has been debunked. That means that something is wrong because if it's just easy to have digital products and make millions of dollars, let's go. Where they at? Show me the millions. Show me the millions. So what I want y'all to know is I am here for y'all to teach you guys. I like to educate people at masterminds. I don't like really coaching. I don't like uh, the mentorship piece. So I'm not doing that in 2023. So what I am doing is I'm going to continue to make rooms where growth can happen, where the energy and mastermind can happen over and over again. I'm going to continue to recreate the room that has built the most millionaires that I've ever seen. Every millionaire that I have created has came from damn near out of a mastermind every time. So what it is, is it's not only the people, it's not only the education, it's the network. It's the network, the education, the belief system, because you guys don't get that at home. You guys don't get that at home. You don't have, you don't have a, a, a good foundation environment that breeds millionaires. If you go home to an environment that doesn't breed millionaires, you're, there's the, the, the likelihood the likelihood of you touching a million dollars is slim to none. So when you go home, it doesn't matter how educated you are. It doesn't matter how many hours you stayed on YouTube. It doesn't matter how many times you Google something. When you go back home, you go into an environment that doesn't build millionaires, that doesn't have the energy, the belief, the consistency, the people who showing up, championing you, giving you a pat on the back, helping you. 
You don't have that environment. That's what the black club environment is for. So I know for 100% fact, I know for 100% fact that everybody on this live has just learned something that they never learned. I know y'all didn't know about how to actually get the credit um, up to 400,000 with just two people, one business, and to also be able to do it with multiple people on as members of the uh, actual company. This is something that I've been doing since like 2015, 2016, and you guys have never heard it. And the reason why is because you never got in these rooms. This is reality. The reason why is because you never get in these rooms. You continue, right? I mean, somebody said, glad you live. Your fake page added me. Yeah, if any fake page ever adds you guys, I have one page. All you got to do is just report them. Y'all don't have to tell me because I see them just like y'all see them. I report them, block them, and then they just pretty much what they do is as soon as you guys follow me, they follow you. Soon as you guys follow me, they follow you. So you're going to see the fake page coming up. But um, yeah, so just make sure you know that I only have one page and it's push damage. So long story short, I taught you guys the sauce today. Compliments of on the house. But do I do want everybody to show up who is available to go to New York. It's not going to be comfortable. No, nobody. I don't even like the cold like that. It's going to be cold in New York. But I'm going to be up there in my suit, my black Wall Street suit. And I'm up there coaching, making new millionaires making new black club members, making new history, making new receipts as well, social proof of the people that we've literally talked to, seen them come from nothing, and then watch them become high credit score havers, high income earners, high frequency individuals who know how to actually articulate this information. Do y'all know what happens when you listen to this type of information over and over again? What happens is it becomes a part of your diet and your brain, which you can't create your own thoughts. Your brain starts to feed you these thoughts. And the more you hear it, the more you know it. The more you know it, the more you speak it. The more you speak it, the more you do it. And that's the thing that happens. So I want you guys to stay in the room and I have a room for you guys to go to. So if you haven't been able to go there, December 16th through the 18th is another great mastermind I'm having in New York. I'm talking about 16th. Mixer, 17th class, 18th class, all the way to 11 o'clock at night. So you will have to leave on Monday. So I pray to see all of you guys in there. I pray to make some new millionaires that literally came from off of my lives. Do y'all know how good it feels when I literally meet y'all and y'all say, yo, Mitch, I just had my first 200K month. Really? One of my students, he might be on here right now, Joe Finesse. He was like, yo, Mitch, I listened to what you said about making more offers, man. I went harder at it. I set a goal and I started making 200K. I did have my first 200K month. And that's what I want to see. I love that because if if I stop doing what I do, if I stop coaching, going live, printing out YouTube content, having conferences, things of that nature, it's going to be less people saying that. It's going to be less people saying they had their first 200K month. You got CEO Mo No Chill on here right now. He did his first. He said he's making 100K. He's on his way to making 100K a month. He said he already got 25 cars, all 25 cars, economies, all the economies going out weekly, not uh, not daily. Literally, he's being able to make $1,800 a car. So he's making over $25,000 a month already. He's two years in the business or maybe only a year. He's a year into the business making $25,000 a month. Who else is making $25,000 a month on the live? If I stop saying what I say, if I stop selling my courses, if I stop coaching, if I stop mentoring, I will see a lot less people having these type of results. So I have a huge job to do. I got people that look up to me, that are inspired by me. With that power that I have, what I'm going to do is this. Right? What I'm going to do is this. Since you guys follow me, look up to me, I'm going to give you actionable steps that really actually work. I'm going to give you resources that really actually help. My boy Charles Noonan and Minty will give you actionable steps that actually work will help you be able to get real estate that you actually own. Will help you be able to show it to the give it to the wholesaler that he can actually sell. And then it's going to be money that you can actually have in your pocket more than you made at your nine to five. And then once we get this done for you, you probably will never be hireable again. You probably won't ever be able to get hired again. Somebody said, we started with your course. I was able to leave my job at the bank and make 100K in a rental car game. I love to see it. If I stop doing what I do, I will not see st statements like that. If I stop coaching and going live and get, having the consistency and giving this game like I do, I will no longer see these results. And that's what I want to see. I got Kat. She's becoming a coach of all coaches. 
Cat is about to be the coach of all coaches. She was on my live last night giving out great gems. She's getting more confident. She's getting more soft. She's getting more money. You know what I mean? She's getting more money, and it's really not funny. So like my boy said, get your money up, not your funny up, you dig? So a lot of y'all laughing and joking and kikiing and worried about, oh, yeah, he said this and he said that. Oh, I don't want to do that. And we y'all kikiing and we laughing to the bank. So get your money up, not your funny up. Because I'm going to tell you, it ain't shit funny. When your girl be trying to go somewhere, you got to tell her, all right, next month, baby girl, I'm going to try to uh, I'm gonna try to get you to go to Tulum. Tulum is the cheapest trip. These chicks getting flown out to Tulum like it is fucking flies. These chicks getting flown out to Tulum like flies right now. If you can't even get your girl to Tulum, man. You're going to have issues in your relationship. I can damn near guarantee it. You dig? I hope everyone that had their life changed are in the black club. Let's go. A lot of black. We got 30. We got 30 active black club members right now. And the black club just started last month. That's that's how serious this is. 50K to be in there. So you know the vibes. So look, at the end of the day, what I want y'all to do is this. All y'all who key key and laughing and being immature and your credit score not 750. We're going to have to literally tell y'all right now and just be honest with you that you mad immature. A lot of y'all got an issue. So a lot of y'all pulling up to the club. Y'all got Alexander McQueen. Y'all got on the, the Louis Vuittons. Y'all got the Gucci. Y'all got the Fendi. Y'all got the gold Cartier frames. Some of y'all pulling up to the club and y'all got to park two blocks away because y'all don't want nobody to see that old ass beat up Hyundai Taurus. Y'all don't want to see that Toyota Camry that's from your mom crib that got the damn bumper that's dragging on the floor. So y'all parking two miles down the road. So y'all got to walk up because y'all still ain't get y'all credit up to be able to go get your own whip. Some of y'all don't moving like that. And it's time to get that immature shit out the way. Take the time to really be responsible. Fix your credit. And I promise you, instead of you trying to figure out which girl you can use to co-sign for you to get your car or which girl you can get to get the rental car for you or which girl you can get to co-sign for your apartment. How about you take the time to be a responsible ass man or woman, get your credit up, get your money up, not your funny up. Go ahead and live that life you want to live. Be able to take care of yourself and your family. So most anybody who believes who says the word gold digger. Anybody who says that, we already know that they do not have any type of income or foundation or maturity. Why? Because let me tell you something. If you worried about a girl who worried about your cheese, that means you ain't got the cheese. Let me tell you why. Because if you can't even take care of yourself, if you can't buy your own home, if you can't be able to get your own car, why would a woman want to be with you? Because she wants to be in a position to where she will be taken care of when she has a kid for you. And then you can take care of yourself, her and the child, man. How are you going to take care of yourself? You can't get your own whip. You can't get your own crib. You got to get her to co-sign. That means you can't take care of yourself. So how are you going to take care of yourself? Your girl, she got to be down for nine months having a baby. Then you got to have take care of the baby, too, when they come out. She got to have to be with the baby while it, you know, when it first come out. You got to be in position to hold it down. So it's time for you to take yourself more seriously. Get in these rooms. Get your money up, not your funny up. Don't be in these girls DMs trying to holler. Don't be trying to take girls out on a date when you know when you pay for the date, you're done. You got to do overtime for the next two weeks. You got to go do something illegal to make it make sense. You got to go scam like a little square. How about you literally take the time to get your money up, not your funny up. And let's get to this bag. Let's get to this bag. I know I know y'all I know y'all see the steez. I know y'all see the swag when I come through. Hold on, let me see. I know y'all see the swag when I come through and y'all be like, "Damn, I want to get that jacket like Mitch. I want to get that that gold piece on the tie like yeah." You can do that. Trust me. The reason why I'm telling y'all this is because I was there where y'all was at. I was broke just like y'all was broke. I'm telling you, I was living check to check just like a lot of y'all living check to check. I was out there spending money on women when I should have been spending money on getting myself together. I was out there doing shit that I shouldn't have been doing. And I had to make the decision if I wanted to be ordinary or extraordinary. So the reason why I can make fun of y'all and kind of joke on it is because I was there. I've been through it. I did it. 
I was I was over there playing house with a chick one time for years. Literally couldn't take care of myself and her, let alone her kids. So now I literally had to understand that I was being immature and I had to really take the time to work on myself before even trying to go talk to women, before trying to date women, before trying to be in a relationship. We're trying to be in relationships before we even got ourselves together. So that's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm joking on y'all. Like literally, when it was a when it was time for me to go get an apartment, they was not approving me, bro. I had a 400 credit score. Y'all know how it is to have a 400 credit score? I had a 400 credit score, dog. I, this is, and then I was going to be in eternal debt. Let me tell you why I was going to be in eternal debt. Because when I got approved for stuff, I would have to pay like two months rent or stuff like that. So I had to pay more money than a person who has good credit. Then I couldn't afford furniture. So I would have to go to like places like errands where they charge like 10 times the cost of the furniture. And then I got to pay monthly on the furniture and I got to pay the monthly rent. And when I came and I put two months rent down and my rent higher because I'm higher risk, I was going to be eternally in debt if I didn't make the decision to say, you know what? Let me get my money up, not my funny up. Let me be mature and fix my credit. Let me be mature and take my finances serious. Let me be mature and show up early, not on time. Let me be mature and stay late to show that I got value. Let me increase my value, my intellect, read books and start making sure I stop chasing women and start chasing the bag. It comes a time where you literally got to look in the mirror and say, my nigga, this not going to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Let me put my glasses back on. You got to say, yo, listen. My nigga, this is not going to cut it. This will not cut it. It's not going to work. It's not going. I'm not going to be able to make it, yo. I'm not going to be able to make it. Like, literally, do I want to really look? They, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you all something that they won't tell you, yo. They trick you all with these twenty dollars an hour, twenty two dollars an hour shit. It's a trick. It's a trick. I want you all to literally look at your salary. They tell you, oh, you make 60K a year. Add up your mortgage or your rent for the whole year. Add up your mortgage or your or your rent for the whole year. And then after you add up your mortgage and your rent and your electricity and your water for a whole year, then I want you to see how much your salary is. Then I want you to subtract the taxes that they take out. Then I want you to subtract the benefits that they take out because they're not giving you benefits. You're paying for them out of your check. This shit is a trick. I had to open, you got to, sometimes you got to sit back, look in the mirror, look at what's going on and really say, what the fuck is going on? You dig what I'm saying? It's a trick. So don't let them trick you to thinking that you're really making money because I promise you, you are in eternal debt. Eternal. Then let me tell you this. Then they give you a tax return. And you get hype over the tax return like they're giving you bonus money. And then if you look at your year to date taxes that they deducted, it's not even half. The money that you literally earned, they deducted a whole bunch of it. And then they gave you a little tiny bit of it on a tax return. And then you say, "Woo! I killed them. My tax return went crazy. My tax return went bananas. Did y'all see that? They gave me four thousand back. They took twenty two thousand away from you this year. God damn! Look at your year to date. You did all that overtime. They took a whole sixteen k in taxes from you, yo. They gave you three thousand. You hype? And that's the trick. So, like I said, get your money up, not your funny up. Keep playing around and life going to play with you and you ain't going to be laughing and you ain't going to be liking it and you're going to be in the same place you are today, five years from now, 10 years from now. I remember from my age group, from being 18 all the way, look, I'm going to be real with y'all from 18 years old, all the way to 25 years old, financially, I was in the same position. I'm going to say it again. From the ages of 18 years old all the way to 25 years old, I was in the same position financially. I 
Oh, it went over y'all head. I'm going to say it again. From when I was 18 years old, graduated from high school, all the way till I was 25 years old working at the jail as a correction officer. Now, from when I was 18, I had a job. I was working at Applebee's to when I was all the way at 25 years old. The salary difference was trade crazy. I made like 60K a year on paper. Over time, I made 100K a year because I did so much overtime. And guess what? My bank account was in the same position at 25 that it was at 18. And some of y'all in the same position. Some of y'all did it even longer than that. Some of y'all from 18 to 32 or 33 or 34, y'all in the same position y'all was in when y'all was 18. Why? Because you still live check to check. You still live check to check. You still got, look, I'm going to tell you right now, if you got 5K saved up, if you got 10K saved up, if you got 15K saved up, even 20K saved up, You'll spend that shit. If you lose your job, you'll spend that shit in fucking two months. And listen, if you got 20K saved up and you lose your job like in COVID, in two months, you'll spend it. Ask all them boys who got them PPP loans and them SBA loans what happened to that 20000 they got. Ask them, ask them, ask all them boys who had them PPP loans and them SBA loans or whatever the fuck ever loans they was giving to people. Ask all them boys what happened to their cheese. So from the age of 18 all the way to 25 years old, I was in the same position financially. And some of y'all going to do the same thing over and over and over all the way to y'all 50, 60 years old. And then y'all going to look back at this live video. Some of y'all. Some of y'all going to look back at this live video and say, yo, that shit Mitch was talking about was 100% fact. I wish I would have started back then. I wish I would have started being mature and caring about my credit back then. I wish I would have started getting in rooms with people who actually about business back then. Because then the conversation is going to change. So remember that myth I was telling y'all about, about... But the coaches and they making millions off courses and not in their real businesses, then that myth won't be a myth to you no more because you'll actually be able to make the money with the courses because it won't be about just making a course because if it was just making a course, it's just like just getting a rental car. All you got to if, if you thought all you had to do was just get a rental car and then you're going to make everybody's going to book your car. You was wrong about that, wasn't you? A lot of people only bought my course because guess what? They heard about me. They heard the free game. They looked it up on YouTube. They looked it up on Google. And then after they YouTube and Google, they went and got a car. They didn't want to pay for my course. They didn't want to pay for my mentorship. They got one car. That car was sitting there picking up cobwebs. And they ain't know what the fuck to do. They was like, damn, I don't know. I got it, but I don't know why this shit, nobody renting it though. I thought, Mitch, I, I took the, I looked at the YouTube shit. They said, if you get it, you put it on Toro, then it's good. It's gone, right? It just goes, it just goes. But it's not that simple, is it though? It ain't that simple, is it? It's not just that. Yes, you can get a car and make a lot of money with it, but you got to have the strategy. You got to have the blueprint. You got to have the pattern. Yeah, you can make millions of dollars on digital products, but you got to have a strategy. You got to have a blueprint. You got to have a pattern. Yeah, you can make a lot of money in credit repair, but you got to have a strategy. You got to have a blueprint. You got to have a pattern. Of course. Of course you can make a lot of money in all of these industries, Airbnb, whatever. I just told y'all, I know people who got 50 Airbnbs, 60 Airbnbs, 60 and I got three Airbnbs and I make more money than them by far. I make way more money than them. They got 50 Airbnbs and I make way more. Not, it's, not even, it's not even close. I know people who got 50 ebooks, 50 courses, and I make way more than they make. Way more. And a lot of people got 50 rental cars and I make way more than they make in a rental car game. Way more. You dig what I'm saying? 
Not even a, not even, it's not even a joke. Way more, dog. Look at, look at this say. This say December earnings. Y'all know what today is? Y'all see December earnings? I ain't even going to, I ain't even going to start. I ain't even going to show y'all proof today. Y'all see, that's just say December earnings. It's December 1st. That's just say $9,000. Huh? Y'all still ain't getting in the room. That shit is crazy, bro. And I'm and I, I'm I, I gotta go to a basketball game, but I, I just it, it 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 like it fucking it fucking just baffles me, bro. Yeah, you can go look on YouTube. You can go look on Google, but if you don't got somebody coming back from where you're trying to go, you teaching yourself. You're self taught. You're self taught. You're, you're, you're self-taught. You're trying to teach yourself how to do a whole profession from what you're reading on the internet. You're teaching yourself. In yourself, your skills, your way you teach yourself has got you where you are today. And if it ain't to the millions, that means you need a fucking mentor. So like I said, December 16th through the 18th, $2,500. Get a credit card, borrow from your mama, pull up to New York, December 16th, 17th, 18th. You can leave Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can leave Monday. Come to get the game. We got Runway Billionaire teaching you digital products and, and automation. We got Brian, he's Billionaire B, teaching y'all how to make money in event spaces. You got uh, Miss Cashflow, she's going to teach y'all how to get $250,000 in funding. I already taught y'all how to make $400,000 in funding on this call. Uh, you got Pushman Mitch teaching you how to just get to the bag. I'm not even going to say what I'm going to teach. I'm going to just teach you how to get to the bag. You got Run Plays with me trying to teach you the daily operations. You got Charles Noonan teaching you land bank properties. You got Rashad teaching you how to start a tax business and how to automate that and make money uh, by hiring virtual assistants to fill out tax returns and be able to leverage it to where you can take five, six hundred clients and it doesn't even matter. And the time frame is going to be the same and the follow up is going to be the same. But you never heard of that because you didn't get the blueprint. You didn't get the strategy and you didn't get the pattern. DM me the word Wall Street and I'll get you in the room. DM me the word Wall Street and I'll get you in the room. I said, I'm going to say it again. DM me the word Wall Street and I'll get you in the room. Now, what I want y'all to do me a favor. I don't give a fuck if you're going in the room or not. Right? I don't care if you're going in the room or not. Take a good little screenshot of your boy Pushman Mitch. Tag me on your story and say, yo, Wall Street. Just DM me Wall Street. Take a good screenshot We're right here. Yeah. Just to get the smile. Yeah, get the smile. Take a screenshot and just put Wall Street. Tag me on y'all stories. If your page is private, nobody's going to see it. If your page is private and you think you're a serious business owner, and you're not because nobody's about to try to follow you and request to be able to do business with you. So take your shit off a of fucking private and get, and get ready for 2023. Get ready for last quarter. That's run this bag up. DM me Wall Street. Like I said, take a screenshot. I'm going to smile again. Yeah, take a screenshot, tag me and y'all story, and let's go. Say Wall Street. That's it. If you can't do that and you just got all this game for, for free, I don't know what else to tell you. Push man Mitch, out of here. I'm about to go get some buckets, you dig? Yeah, snake. Somebody say you look beautiful. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. If I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, like I was saying, man, get your money up, not your funny up, man. We ain't playing no more, dog. We ain't we ain't playing. Like I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. It's about to be a whole new year again. Look, this this the thing. It's about to be a whole new year again, and y'all still ain't got y'all bag up. It's about to be another whole New Year's. This year just went by like. Whoosh. This year went by like. Whoosh. Know what I mean? This year just. Whoosh. It's a whole nother year. And that y'all last year, y'all didn't want to start last year because y'all said, oh man, it's take a whole two years. Now it's been a whole nother year. It's been a whole, I want y'all to think about that. It's been a whole nother year. A whole nother motherfucking year. What my boy Denzel said, my motherfucking nigga. <laughs> my onion straws. A whole nother year.
and you still ain't start working on your credit. You still ain't start that LLC. You still ain't start your automation. You still don't got no funnel. You still ain't hire a virtual assistant. You still ain't making no money, nigga. Man, y'all better stop playing, dog. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Positively.